Hello again. Today's video is all about transforming your mindset with the lucky girl syndrome for a successful manifestation process. Being in my 30s, I wanted to offer advice for transforming your mindset and overcoming low self-worth at any stage of life. These are three things anyone can do to feel worthy, confident, and transform their mindset each day. They do not require you to dress differently, wear more or less makeup, or anything like that. Um, I believe you are deserving, loved, worthy, a lucky human being all around just as you are. Helping you to feel that starts within. If that's leading you to play with your style and external appearance, then great. If not, that's great as well, right? We are all different living, um, different experiences. But if you are watching other Lucky Girl Syndrome videos and on the inside thinking, gosh, I don't know if I have the energy to dress sophisticated, elegantly, or have the money to do all of that, then there are still things that you can do each day, whether you are man, woman, girl, boy, um, to feel lucky on the inside. Number one is transform your mindset by avoiding or limiting exposure to people who constantly drain your joy. This means stop letting others' fears, doubts, and insecurities live rent free in your head. Other people's reasons of why you cannot, should not, or will not do something that should, um, something that you strongly desire has to mean less to you than your own desire to accomplish something. Understand that not everyone is given the same goals, visions, missions, purposes, all of that. This doesn't make them a bad person necessarily unless they are intentionally talking down to you and putting down your dreams. If you have expressed a goal to someone and they aren't, um, as enthused with you, I guess, or they start to drain your joy, your motivation, and your confidence in what you're doing, then it's time to set some boundaries with them. If they ignore those boundaries and refuse to make an effort to respect those boundaries, then I would highly suggest to move forward and just limit exposure with them. Life is short, we are often told and reminded so how do you want to spend your days feeling? Do you want to feel confident and excited every day or afraid and stuck and compressed? Number two is to transform your mindset by owning all of the parts of you, the past, the present, and the future. Know that each version of you is loved and worthy. It has to start from within because if you can't recognize and feel loved and worthy for yourself, it can be hard to recognize when others um, are trying to give you love and encourage you and offer their support. Using this lucky girl syndrome mindset while simultaneously feeling shame, regret, any of that because of a past version of yourself will hinder your manifestation process. Hating the past version of yourself can bring up those flashbacks of how you used to be and make you feel awful for even trying to learn and grow and do better. It will make it harder for you to really feel like a lucky person at all and be open to new opportunities that may present themselves. Just as you can get stuck in your manifesting process by disowning the past version of yourself, you can get stuck by denying what the future version of you is wanting. I know this sounds super time travely, but each moment we are in the present and whatever we're working towards will happen in the future. It may be five minutes from now, five months from now, or 
five years <laughs> or more. If in the present you feel slightly ashamed for what you're wanting to manifest, how can you feel lucky? Let's say you're an artist, for example, and you really want to be a full-time artist, but you're afraid no one will buy your art unless you price it below a price that allows you to buy more supplies, that allows you to take more art classes to really hone your craft. Um, prices that don't allow you time to actually create and make more then how will this future you manifest a full-time art career? How will you be able to wake up each morning feeling like the most per lucky person alive to be able to have a career that you absolutely love and enjoy? Here at Blush and Soul Co., I aim to help women like you who are dying to reach a goal, a dream, a vision that you have for yourself. You're someone who knows deep down that you want to get that goal, that vision, or that dream, but you keep getting stuck. This is so heartbreaking and frustrating, I know, because you feel like there are mistakes you've made, ways that you're getting off track, or you know you have a habit of talking yourself out of your own goals. I help you to build this next level, you, so that you can feel beautiful, bold, and balanced from the inside out so you can get unstuck and break free from this cycle of self-doubt. This includes owning all the parts of yourself and our next way to transform your mindset, which is number three, creating a lifestyle with routines that support your lucky girl syndrome mindset. Setting yourself up for daily success means starting your morning embodying this lucky girl syndrome. Start your morning with a few soulful habits that you feel like amazing things will happen to you. That gets your mindset in check so it will be easier to carry this optimistic mindset throughout the rest of the day. Maybe you create a list of soulful habits that you hang somewhere in your living space. So if you notice yourself feeling unworthy and less confident, you can look at your list and pick one to three of those to get your mindset back on track. We aren't spiritually bypassing here. That's not the goal. Um, but the soulful habits are here so that you can feel your emotions and reflect, gain insight to that feeling so you can move through it and not end up stuck in a set emotion. An emotion I see commonly is shame, especially around food or drinking. You make progress towards eating healthier or cutting back on your drinking, and then you slip and maybe overindulge. You can get stuck feeling shameful that you went back and backtracked and continue to go against the new lifestyle you're trying to create for yourself. And then you feel like you have even more work to do to make up for this backtrack. This leaks into how you feel about yourself overall. You may secretly feel like because you're not able to successfully cut back on drinking or make that healthy eating switch, that you don't deserve amazing things, that you're not deserving of ease and luck, which is not true. You are deserving and worthy. One thing that helps me dramatically when I feel myself shrinking is to take a step back and do EFT or tapping. I'll leave the recent EFT video in the comments or somewhere if you want to go try it out. Even in making that video, I felt a huge shift in my own body and I felt a big smile on my face as I was finishing recording that. EFT is so popular right now because it's a pretty simple energy technique that anyone can learn and practice on their own for all of the emotions we naturally feel. 
the key is to not allow ourselves to get stuck in our shame, guilt, and other feelings that cause us to not feel lucky. So in creating a lifestyle that supports your lucky girl syndrome mindset, you can dramatically improve your mindset each day. Your mindset will definitely improve, allowing your manifestation process to unfold, all while overcoming low self-worth and low self-esteem. Limiting exposure to those who don't positively support your growth will increase your self-esteem so that you're not trying to prove or defend yourself constantly. You'll have more energy for finding the support and receiving divine guidance towards your progress and your manifesting process. I am curious, do you agree that these three things can help you dramatically increase your self-worth? Could any of these make you feel like a lucky person every day and support your manifestation process? Let me know in the comments with which mindset shift you want to work on currently and how it's going for you. Make sure to subscribe and join me each week as I share more manifestation, mindfulness, and um, self-love tips, tricks, and inspiration.